This machine has a um, rotary type drum on it, it's a horizontal, and it has um, what we call chipper teeth, which are about the size of your knuckle, and it just basically takes this tree, as you can see, throwing pieces out everywhere, that it chips it up. We can actually incorporate the mulch into the ground, as you just see now he's going to the ground to make sure that there are no green left on the juniper. As long as the juniper doesn't have any green on it when we're done, it will never grow back. And uh, we want to spread this mulch, these chips, as far as possible so that grass grows up, um, helps with erosion control, and um, there's a number of ways you can do this. We chose this particular machine. We specialize in remote areas, and it's awful hard to get semis out here in this country, so this is something we can haul on a big fifth wheel trailer we have and pull it behind a pickup to get out where we need to go. Um, it's maneuverable, it moves from tree to tree pretty fast. Um, the, one of the main, if there's any downfall to this, is, is the very, very large trees, it takes a while to take care of them. And I'm talking about a tree that's 50, 40, 50 foot tall with a, you know, a juniper can get a base on them sometimes that are, that are 30 inches, that's kind of rare, but they do. And, uh, but an average juniper tree will take us a minute, a minute and a half to take it down to where there's nothing left. Um, the reach on this machine is about a 12 to 15 foot, depending on the terrain. As you can see right now, he'll reach up there, he'll shred it so he can get closer if he needs to. <coughs> Pardon me. And he'll go up and rotate the head so the top falls away from him. And when the top falls away from him, that's just a safety factor. And then he'll just start shredding the machine and throwing chips everywhere. Pretty impressive piece of machinery for the most part. We chose a track skid steer also because the tracks will give us about two to two and a half pounds per square inch of, of soil impact. And um, you know everybody's concerned about that. We don't want to have any erosion problems. We want to, when we're out of this country, we don't want anybody to know other than the junipers are gone that we were here. And that's, that's our, our ideal situation.